Never met anybody named Gilchrist. That the poor fucker right there? It's true, doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. Bet I can help find your mole. But what I know now won't get you anywhere in that respect. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> Hello. Hello, Arch. Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. Then I could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. Fuck! Cargo manifests. Shit! Stamped LOA. Shit, shit, shit! LOA? Lost on arrival. Someone knew they'd slip out of Militech's grip as soon as they crossed the border into the state. Signed by one Anthony Gilchrist. <laughs> we have our mole. I know you're the mole. Saw the manifests. LOA? Old trick, but still effective. Ah, yes, that. I suggest we part amicably. No accusations, no bad blood. I know how to take care of my friends. Goes for you too. You won't regret keeping a lid on this. We'll see. It's been a pleasure. V, corporate gods willing. Oh, thought about what you said. About convoys, transport security, your offer? We're just not interested. Fine. But maybe you'd be interested in the identity of your mole. How they put it all together. Okay. Talk. Your problem's on the state line. Cargo manifests were stamped LOA. Merch was then lost just after it crossed the border. Inside job by a man you know. Anthony Gilchrist. Well... I see I'm working with a professional. You won't regret this. This is going to be seriously rewarding for you. Count on it. The afterlife. Gonna be long? Far and wide, that name. Oh, yeah? Some of the Nomad Clan's biggest jobs are scored right here. Don't surprise me. Ain't no better place than Night City to land a gig. Hello? Maybe he just wanted out of the system. So then why'd he come back? Tough to ditch the system when the system's your own family. Black sheep's still a sheep, huh? One way to put it. Crawled back on all fours, tail between his legs. Fucking cheap-ass rebel. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. I used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast anything aside until it was worn down, dead, couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls, not even nomads would touch that. Please, let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. What do you two want? It has to come quick. I didn't come all this way to talk. Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did, you followed his orders. No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. You trying to buy me out? Not at all. Consider it a counteroffer. Don't gamble your life on the boys. They aren't exactly known for their professional integrity. They've been in Night City, what, 50 years? Yet still, they cling to a tribal mentality. Their distrust of outsiders, legendary. Time. Hmm. Can't be trusted if her clan banished her. Sorry, just not willing to pay you for help like that. Actually, she walked away. Said it was about the family, its future, nomad ideals, blah, 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 blah. I stopped listening a few words in. Thought you preferred to know who you're dealing with. I know enough. Besides, when someone starts spouting ideals, it's probably about something else. Power, usually. Fortunately, not my biz, not yours. 
Pan Am's capable and stands to help you. That's all you need to know. V? You know, used to ride with nomads, too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Yep, backer clan, back in the day. Didn't work out between us, so I landed in Night City. So we've something in common after all. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. Because me, I had to carry a real Gannic iguana once. Seriously? A live one? Yup. Someone put him in a deep sleep, packed him in a cooler. <laughs> no idea why, but man, I made a shitload off that job. Your turn. Think you can beat that? The deputy finance director of Calcas. Whoa. I'd say it's a tie. Dead. In the trunk. Okay, fine, you win. Thought you would have done something like this with your clan. No. We did take back one of ours from a convoy once. But this, what we're doing now, the risk is so much greater. You don't miss it? What? Jobs like this? Being in a clan, being part of a family. I could ask you the same. How do you feel, all on your own? Yeah. Sometimes wonder what life would be like, back with the clan. And? And the price is always too damn high. Hmm. I believe I understand. My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth corn field. Speech! Speech! Sol, Aiden. Are you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Alda Cal, though, I... I don't know if you Just should... Just answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Cal, though, dammit. Great to Thanks have you with us, Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Come on, V! Welcome to the clan! Say your piece! The most dysfunctional... What did they say? Easy to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldecaldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry, it's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. Now you gain on me. The clan will grab spoils from Makoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, B. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, B. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. V? Wait, are we talking about one of those famous Alda Caldo tunnels? Mm-hmm. One of the oldest ones, this one too. They dug through right after the first war. Alda Caldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? You sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. They had a saying in my clan. No goodbyes. Only roads to four can converge. Nomads say all sorts of shit. Speaking of which, you still owe me that story of that guy from Caucasus. One who rode in your trunk. I'll tell you. Someday. Somewhere. If our roads meet again. V. I'm waiting. I thought nomads were always on the move. But you stay put. Yes. They call us statics, but we are also necessary. Somebody must take care of those who come and go. Yeah. Take care of them. For the right cut. Indeed. 
Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now, let's see. Childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. They always caught fire, burnt. But that never bothered you. That's nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eater or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them began with the same thing. Displacement. Know why I came to Night City? Because I thought it offered opportunities you couldn't come by anywhere else. Now, it feels like I'm standing in quicksand. There's no way to live. For anyone. I feel you. I... I can't leave Night City. Not yet. But someday... Who knows? V? Belonged to a nomad family too, once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. Come on. Family's waiting. Ugh. So, oh, how yeah. is it? Any day now. Remember the backers? I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with the Snake Nation, then poof. Evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength has always been their independence. Give that up, my clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but... Damn, do they need you. Of course they do. V? Saul won't like this. Blasting the good cards. A terrible waste. I'll tell him it was an accident. Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. You didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in the spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. V? Is this a bad time? You're happier out here. I can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself. But why did you agree? Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. 
gotten into you? Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. Have from the start. We'll see. Jesus, chill. Wouldn't you want people to think we're werewolves? It's fucking hardcore. Maybe the backers like childish jokes, but I'm not gonna put up with that shit. Oh, let me guess. Some kid tells you you're a gonk and you smell bad, and you cry about that too? This guy's been rambling on about hell, vampires, and necromancers from space. You seriously believe he's deliberately targeting our rep? Well, sure. His brain clearly ain't firing on all cylinders. Ugh, fuck it. I won't waste my time on a street cretin. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Yeah, family comes first. Can't argue with that. The city eats anyone who tries to go it alone. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. What are you thinking? Those your threads, or did you borrow them? Who the hell's asking? I'm a backer. Well, well. Two nomads crossing paths in Night City. How can I help? Looking for this lady. No her. The badge? Sure do. She's got a room in this here motel. Right over there. Perfect. Thanks. Liz, I do care. If you're a woman of principle, this ain't your city. Be better to skip town, join a nomad clan. They're like you, believing in something more. They wouldn't accept me. They will. As a nomad myself, I know they need people like you, more than you know. Well then what, huh? Smuggle illicit tech? Patch up solar panels? You'll have family. You won't be alone in this anymore. Family? You serious? I am. Anna. You'll have people you can depend on, who won't stab you in the back. Hmm, fine. Fuck it. I'll leave this godforsaken city. It's the smart play. But wait. Huh? Why did you let them go? I wonder that myself sometimes. See ya, Anna. Yeah, see ya. Yeah! Max tacking cyber psychos! Then you better run or I'll throw you in jail. Ah! He's gonna get us! <laughs> ah! Good to see you, Anna. V? They leave you with the kids? Guess you're already part of the family. Yeah, maybe. These are good people, but, uh, it's no night nice city. How's life treating you out here? No badge weighing you down. Well, it's heavy on dust, short on shitty bars. But also short on shitty people. You ever met that netrunner, Carol? She says they're paying you to promote the nomad lifestyle. Nope. They should. You miss the city much? I don't know if miss is the right word, but something's definitely nagging at me. On the one hand, I do feel needed out here, but on the other, well, you know. Sometimes you gotta let go. Maybe. When I was with the family, we settled this stuff on our own turf. Don't think we know that? They didn't give us a way out. First we came in to see the goods, Exchange was supposed to happen the next day. But? But they followed us to where we hid our money. It's whatever, though. I'm done dwelling. Thanks for the help. I'm out of here. Sure. Later. 
My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. What nation you ride with, Dakota? The Aldecaldos. But I do not ride anymore. I'm V. Road of the Backers. You rode? Bastards. And now? Now I don't. I see. We will be in touch, V. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with a nasty crew in Pacifica, things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. What you blowing? Escape. Pure as baby powder. Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Upstorfs an adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trips so intense it verges on psychosis. Corpse fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! Better? And get back to work! Well, think that's everything. Fucking Militech! If I had it my way, we'd scrap each and every one of them. Seeing how much scratch you'd make off of them, I figured you'd like them more. What? Got a chip or two loose, you know that? Hang a sec. Last thing. A little bonus for the road. Your S, Keith? Let's say I like that you got good taste. Go on, it's yours. And, uh, avoid coming back. It's good advice. Repeat business, not really our thing. That guy rubbed my dick the wrong way. Dum-dum? I mean, what the fuck kind of nick is that anyway? Shh. Gonna be long? We have arrived. The Major Leagues. Does not get any higher, Jum. And you know something else? We fucking earned it, chica. How long has the afterlife You're been alive? around? Half a century? Longer. Don't know by how much, though. Gotta be the oldest club in Night City. And the most respected. Don't forget that bit. Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yorinobu Arasaka. Would you folks like to join my gang? Poser with court protection. <laughs> and the name, too. Steel fucking dragons? Oh, man. A wannabe gang goon's wet dream. Got bored of being rich, then got bored of playing tough. <laughs> fucking tourist. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Your way. Got a message for fingers. Comes from the Tiger Claws. And that message would be? Two things. Urgent and confidential. Meaning? Meaning you've got a choice. Oh, yeah? You either get your shit kicked in for being slow, or for being a nosy prick. Fine. Let her through, Sludge. Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? What's up with you? you want out Mox don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. What gave me away? It's the hair, isn't it? 
We have had eyes on you since you entered Pacifica. Making sure I didn't get lost? Well, what is that? Interesting biz strategy you got in Pacifica. No details, no names, no one knows a thing. Your name we know. That is enough. Oh, li pas changé l'idée. Ton coup. My Creole's a bit rusty. You parle mille langues dans la city. Nous même, nous parlions seul grain. Shit luck, right? All those and I don't know yours. Comme translation, ou pas maton. Why the hell you are here? You know, heard a few things about you. Mm. The Voodoo Boys. Best runners in town. At least that's what they say. Though nobody really knows what you do on the net. This is good. I mean, bleeding edge black soft, corporate data heist, waging war on Netwatch. No one mentions chickens. Sorry. Don't work with corpse. Come on, everyone does. I bet you have too. Could verify that right away, actually. But we don't need any distractions, do we? Rather put my trust in the VDBs than in you, by a mile. Hey, I know we're unpopular in your circles. But whenever there's a real problem, it's Netwatch, not Pacifica's shady hacker cult that gets the call. See that, right? Voodoo's no black tech better than anyone, so no. Think I prefer their expertise over yours. Clever, kinda, but the wrong choice. Know why? They never answer the call. If you're not Pacifica born and bred, you're nothing to them, less than nothing. Boss, Vista Del Rey, boss. Had no idea you drive for 6th Street. Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. They still wild about stars, stripes, and core heartland values. A strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. Is it? Arasaka, Tiger Claws. Kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, hmm? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer. Wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Childhood memories. Uh, let's see. The hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. Why? My word means shit to you? Hanako-sama, I apologize on her behalf. Oh, shut up, Goro. We're supposed to be honest. Well, that's what I'm being. Fine. Maybe I am just a two-bit thief, but I'm the two-bit thief that stole that fucking relic off you. Slotted it in, took a bullet to the brain, died. You... died? Oh, yeah. Now I'm stuck with Johnny fucking Silverhand in there and I'll do anything to get him out. So I got exactly nothing to lose. But you got lots. Hanako-sama. He is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. She flabbergasted. She is. Jacket's incredible. See? She likes it. Listen, soon as we're back from Makoshi, <laughs> we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. Used to think of it as my city. Bonded together. I owned it. It owned me. Nothing to keep me there now, though. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Thought the city would help us see ourselves for who we were. Both of us. Yes, but damn it. It's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in and I lost everything. Almost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shithole something. But we're getting out. At last. Placing our bets on something better somewhere else. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Stuff like that doesn't just get lost. Won't find anything in there. 
sent trouble. It wasn't stolen. We found it. Yeah, whatever you say. Just know that whoever comes looking won't be asking questions. What are you waiting for? Give it to her! Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? I said, where? The, those dumpsters, over there! For fuck's sake, Josh! Look, it wasn't us, all right? Gonk was already cold, we swear! Wait, really? And here I had you pegged for top-tier mercs. Now out of my way! Where are your stars and stripes? The fuck you talking about? The army jackets six streeters are always wearing. You know, crew cuts going around with EMP nades, protecting people from the big bad gangs. Surely you must be with them if you're doing a stick up on their turf. No gang would be stupid enough to just waltz in here with guns blazing. Hey boss, I think I saw one of them by the window. Could have heard shots. Probably heard you too. Remember they're trained to detect any kind of disturbance. I told you we should have gotten a coast view! Quit! Gonk, piece of shit! Wayland of the Wayland. Yes, girl. I take it you heard of old Andrew Boa Boa. Like everybody in this town. That is nice, but me don't share my father's aspiration. So me expect to live longer than he did. Shouldn't have messed with you. Don't know how you got him to let you in. They're gonna scan every damn file before you take one step out. And assuming they won't like what they see. You gonna lecture me or help me get out of here? The lose Orphean. Remember that samurai graffiti in Haywood where the bakery used to be? Uh-huh. Got painted over a while ago, but yeah. Johnny was holding the Orphean there. Nice one. Where'd you find it? It's like fresh off the shelf. Bought it. Private collection. Always like to have everything down to the last detail. Gets too obsessed at times, but gotta respect her hustle. This race has given me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? Got 6th Street, the Mox. Gangs are well repped. Just a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. It's good you came. You'd have liked that. Wanted it. See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept them going. Shall we? As I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. Just want to go inside. Don't want any bad blood with him. Well, that's a fucking relief. Because if you did, I'd have to fuck you up myself. And I ain't in the mood. So we can go in. You can delta the fuck off. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the street. Rules are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others. But always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Politics bores me to tears. Every mayor, same asshole, different suit. Not every mayor saved the city from Militech Panzers, back when the NUSA tried to take us. But Ryan did. You think people will remember that? All that matters is his death, because it reeks of scandal. V. Appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. Yeah, fuck you on. Hey, do you look familiar? You're from Watson, right? Didn't your old man work in Solomon's garage? Yeah. 
before they tossed him in the joint. Right. I remember. Badges caught him clubbing watches? Among other things. Peeps dying on the streets like flies, and all they cared about were stolen hubcaps. Fucking narcs. Anyway, you wanted something? Pack up your shit and get out of here before I break your hands. You gotta be joking. Over a piece of fucking metal? I'll count to three. One. Two. Lady dog's crazy, yo! Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. Out here, you can't smell the shit corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit flush repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. Deals either go quickly, or they go badly. It's Biz 101. Longer you drag out the convo, more peeps you'll drag in. Just a reminder that there are more of us, in case you want to pull a gonk move. You think you're so fucking latest, don't you? And what if I do want to pull a gonk move, starting with your ugly face? You can try. How about we get this over with, Roman? We were late. Our bad, granted. We'll scratch off 10%. 20. 15. Fine, let's call it a fucking day already. I'll give the sick for the edges. You must be outside your mind, V. Why'd you come here? Dealing with the scavs on their turf, on their terms? You must really be desperate. And desperate people don't think straight. Save as you're patronizing, V. We knew the risk, but we really need this money. Like, badly. Hush up now. You can conversate all you want later. Funny. Didn't like your ugly skin plate from the get-go. Now I know why. You're the one who flushed us out in Watson. Sandra Dorset. You thought we'd forget, huh? We're done here. Know how things work in Night City? Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger chumbas. You're talking about gangs. Principles are the same out here. Ought to remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. How much longer? Know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no. Hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in Night City. Corpse got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. Ah, oh, is this how Night City's finest protect and serve? Why? You want to be some kind of hero? Don't care. Don't know him. So, why the fuck we talking? I like to know what's going on around me. Not every day you see a man in a thousand Eddie suit getting beaten within an inch of his life. Wouldn't you agree? He put a girl into a coma. Daughter of a friend. Rotten skiff or an XBD? Second one. From what I can tell, your guy's a mid-level manager. And? Corp won't let this slide. They'll pull the data from this asshole's biomon and find you. And then, they'll shoot you. You think I don't know that? Fucking corpos walking around like holy cows in a two-piece? But I ain't letting them go. No fucking chance. I'm not asking you to. What I want is for you to let me finish the job. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Nothing. It's just how I unwind. All right. Let's go, boys. 
Take care of yourself, officer. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> uh. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, uh, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? Heard you've been showing girls XBDs. You know, kind of where your nose bleeds, your mouth froths, brain fries a little. No, 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 no. Wait, I didn't know. Uh, Pusher must have sold me a bad batch. Bullshit. Corpo scum like you don't get their merch on random street corners. You know what you're watching, and what you're showing to others. All right, all right. It's like, you know how it is when, when you want to get a girl in a club, right? But you just need a little... A, a nudge in the right direction. Really? Mm, wonder what Mama Wells would say. What'd she do when she sees you two gongs fucking up her joint? My bet she'd whip out her shotgun and blast your heads off. All right, come on, baby. No work. No work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. So what? I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Hey! I didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street, like, while well, he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawling with guards. He told me don't go anywhere without security. So one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. <laughs> I know that. Eddie Sorrentino, only you. Never did go in for sentimental stuff. Got stuck in my head lately, though, that one. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now. Your childhood tasted like scop dogs from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say. It ain't caliente, but don't burn on the way in and out. You telling me you're harboring a badge while operating out of Tiger Claw turf? I, I wouldn't. I swear. Oh, it. I believe it. But them? You know what they do to liars? Slice their digits off clean. Sometimes they go even further than that. All right. All right. I get it. Girls are renting out a room in this here motel. Right over there. Really think you got an edge on the street? Plan to look over your shoulder for the rest of your life. 347 murdered or missing. 431 raped. Those are last month's official numbers. Oh, right. And that's Justin Watson. So don't feed me that streetwise bullshit. This city has to change. Listen, Anna, I want world peace as much as the next gal, but I grew up in NC. I know, it'll change you before you can change it. You don't even believe it could be different. Because it can't. Last chance, Anna. Being stubborn gets you nowhere. There'll be more like me. And more of me, shot for shot against trash like you. Anna, don't do it. Fuck you, Merc. <laughs> Shit! Shit! Hear me out, Chum. I'm hitting up NC's Primus joints for some fresh XBD talent. Chicks and fellas who aren't afraid to show a little skin for quick and easy eddies, you follow? Not interested. Well, you're about to be. For every actor comes out with me, you get 10% of their fee. 
Guaranteed at ease, zero risk. What do you say, in or out? Huh. All right, fine. Go ahead. Who's there? Padre sent me. Padre? What's he want? Trying to set up a mass, pray for Martha Frakes. Supposed to talk deeds with Gustavo. Gonna let me in? Or I gotta tell Padre you made me sit out on the doorstep. Go. Gustavo's upstairs. Padre honestly thinks that'll help? Dunno. Father sent me. Fuck. I guess I could have seen that coming. Heard you home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Corpo agent, what's you playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Hey, Not my what first would it time. be? Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Huh, <laughs> get a load of this one. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki in Tokyo is still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. Heard a bit about <sighs> Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Mm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Don't make Transport fuck-up's toxic back. for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep now. Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Check it out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on. All corpse use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> That the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech? Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. Something goes wrong, I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. 
What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Funny. What? For a club with the hottest contracts in town. Doesn't look like all it's bigged up to be. It's what's inside that counts, John. To this. Chingada madre. Fine. Have it your way. Have I asked you to do that? Uh, no. I just thought that since... Who asked you to think? Excuse me? I know damn well it wasn't me. Who was it? A word of advice, if I may. Do only what you're told to do. Now, what was that room number? You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli Suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Harry. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. Didn't come on too strong? Trust me. Places like this, you're either strong or you're nobody. Keep it down. Emperor's daughter you're talking about. Sponging up booze in a bar and mouthing off for everyone to hear? You think that's a good idea? Keep it up. I'm sure it'll work out great for you. Shit. <laughs> You could be right. Walk away. Do it while you still can. Kiddo? How about your name first? Want to make sure your supervisor hears about this. Whatever made you think I work here? Mmm, you're standing in front of me? Mmm, you got any idea who owns Compeki Plaza? No. Strangest thing, nobody knows. It's like they're a ghost. But whoever it is, they like to keep things bright, shining, and sparkling here. Maybe, just maybe, they're so concerned about the quality of service, they sometimes moonlight as the bartender. Uh-huh. Why would they do that? Don't know. To keep a proprietor's eye on things. Maybe rake in some tips. Cool story, Chum. Too bad it's made up. Everyone's making something up, just like you, kiddo. Uh... Can I get you something? At the least. Water? Said it yourself. You can kick the rat out of the corp. But you'll never kick the corp out of the rat. Probably just got bored. All one percenters do, sooner or later. I've seen them before. Troy. The exterminators. We must get to Ripadok. Quickly! <laughs> B? Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. You sit here in this dank hole you probably call your office and think you've got it made, don't you? Congrats! You read minds better than our own fucking AI. Someone get this gonk a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the Tiger Claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger Claw bosses have got their own bosses, in case you didn't know. You're just too small to see them. <laughs> oh, cause you're such a big shot. Let's just say a certain member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn, and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs while you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Must have pissed him off recently, huh? I really doubt they'd attack like this unprovoked. One reason only. Always the same. Wezo Agwe. It is a neck they cannot see, cannot touch. Quick. All right, then let's hear it. Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did? You followed his orders? 
No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. Why not attack them head on? I'm guessing you've identified the voodoo top brass. So what if we have? See me as a sly assassin, offing them one by one? Please, don't act like the corpse who finance Netwatch don't farm out wet work, let alone the armies they have at their beck and call. Armies make too much noise, and the voodoos are skittish as field mice. Must be prepping them for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him walk. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. You cannot ignore this. Oda, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. There's no time to waste me. Muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values. And to solidify his legitimacy. He's shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Keiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Then tell me about them some other time. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. I'm sorry that we have to speak under such circumstances. That is the second time today I have heard that. V? Look, I know it's a lot to take in, let alone believe. I also know you're an honorable person, worthy of trust. And that's why I want to make you an offer. You? Make me an offer? The relic your brother tried to hawk off the net watch is in my head, right now. Took a bullet to the brain, but the tech on the chip saved me. And now, it's slowly killing me. 
One of your personality constructs. Engrams. It's overriding my psyche. Gotta stop the process before it's too late. I know you got the means to help me. Is there a problem? I'm sorry. I know this must be difficult for you. Painful. So much so that I could not look the truth in the eye. What happens now? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Misty, listen. All this shit started because I decided to screw over the corp that used to sign my paychecks. If I can make things right, maybe... Just maybe things will go back to normal. I really hope you know what you're doing, V. They've got no choice. We're talking about the future of Arasaka here. A monolith whose first crack appeared with Yorinobu. Goro's words, not mine. A crack. Indeed. Yet no one did anything to seal it. Can't blame yourself. I do not. But they could blame me. It's an honor to finally make your acquaintance. I used to work for Arasaka Counter Intel in Night City before... <laughs> We all make mistakes. I'm here to fix mine. Well, then? Saburo Arasaka is murdered, and you don't order an inquiry into the cause of his death. Once again, who is this? He used to work a few floors down, Abernathy's department. And I know, shrugging your shoulders and finding a scapegoat just isn't correct procedure when the CEO dies. I'm an eyewitness to what happened. You should ask me questions, then proceed with apprehending your Inobu. I can confirm this. Says a wanted man! A serious accusation, admittedly. But nothing more. You know what I see? A corporate coup that failed. Your men out there? Spilling blood. For no reason. Won't last long, though. You're even worse than him. Saburo ruled with an iron fist. But he didn't need a purge to hold on to power. Power? You? You think I wanted power? Things didn't go as Johnny planned, wanted. So Johnny needed someone to blame. And pinning every little thing on Arasaka got old a long, long time ago. Arasaka's got nothing to do with this. This is about trust, about who you're turning into. If you're all paranoid about being thrown in another Arasaka prison, don't be. We're gonna shred you. You're never gonna get it. It's not about Arasaka. Not even about life and death. Then what's it all about, Johnny? Enlighten me. The principle, V. It's always about the principle. Swap meat for chrome, live a BD fantasy, whatever. But at the end of it all, it's the code you live by that defines who you are. Ever get lost? It shows you the way home. Bust up into pieces? It puts you back together again. Who asked you? Who wanted you to talk to me? Hanako? She has forgotten you already. They called from here, from the clinic. And what did they say? They said someone should talk with you. Someone you know. What's Can up with you? be a bit you? more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you round her finger, get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. Don't worry. She put on an act. 
few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over clouds as if it was her idea. You might be onto something. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. Given what I saw, I knew she'd be a bigger jackbooted tyrant than Hiromi. And that was reason enough to take her life? More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference is not in the ammo. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. What's gotten into you? I hear teeth grinding. That's fair. But that's how things stand. The stronger survive. Biotechnica plays a fair game mostly. You snug under their wing, you might just have a chance. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. Just seemed like you'd want to know. Uh huh, I would. Because it seems you to me Pan Am wants to oust me. Pan Am's got good it's intentions, I'm sure. Breaking up the clan is never good. I'll be in touch. Please. I know what kind of budgets BDs get. You can do better than that. Lots better. Fine. Triple. And you disappear like the morning dew off North Oak front yards. Deal. Fucking pathetic. Very wise choice. Don't follow me in. I'll tell Stevenson you said goodbye. Did the first gonk off the street know what they tell new Arasaka suits? They say if a collar in training doesn't make deadline, the ghost of a man split in two will get him. Of course, nobody remembers the ghost is Johnny. All right, I'm impressed. Getting someone from Saka to tell you that. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now let's see. Childhood for you tasted like sushi with real rice. Used to stuff a few in your mouth at once and pretend you were a giant. Bigger family gatherings were great. That's where we even got real fish. I like synth fish more though. Real fish is just too stinky. You know, Think if you lined up all the cities next to each other, they'd all look the same. Corps are making sure of that, making life uniform everywhere. Maybe so. Maybe all cities got alluring faces. Let's stay long in one and you see what's behind it. I... I can't leave Night City yet. I, I know you from somewhere. Sorry, you've got the wrong guy. Wait. The negotiations between Arasaka and N54. That cyber psycho scandal in the Defense Department. You used to work for Arasaka. You were behind the leak, weren't you? <laughs> I thought you got flatlined. And yet here you are at the afterlife. A fellow ex monochromer, I see. Only thing I miss is the clean air. Ouch. Hardwired customer service just ain't what it used to be. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> sure you do. I got a pretty good idea who you are. Bargain basement dress suit, back alley implants. You're almost a cutout from a corp recruiting brochure. Hang on, this is fun, let me guess. Found something in a dusty corner of the warehouse, trying to hawk it off on the side. Ooh, what would your manager say? I mean, not like your KPIs can include your under-the-counter deals. Oh, the fuck you want? Discount. Something real. Keep me from calling your boss. I'll get fucked, scop shitter. Great. Now you got that out of your system, let's get down to biz. We got a deal, or do I gotta make some calls? Just flip to the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see.
I know the game NC makes you play. I know the rules, all the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line and when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. Gotta know which way the wind's blowing. Gotta know that before anyone else has realized there's a storm coming. Honestly, to me this all stinks of one big media play. No, not it at all. Come on. Somehow you know where to find the gear truck of some Asian dolls doing a cover of your song? Juicy little scandal for the media. Best case scenario, you know the game they're playing. Worst, they're playing you. Ah, fuck. Sure hope you're wrong. Cause otherwise Johnny would have been right. From the get-go. You think you're hot shit, but you might as well be a fly buzzing in a corpo's ear. So I'll keep buzzing. It's not medias they're losing sleep over. It's fixers with razor-sharp intel. The kind that'll slit your throat. Yeah, cause I'm sure Regina's the one keeping Yaranobu up at night. You got all wrong, big guy. You see, a friend of mine's fixing to bring in some easy corpo prey hot with loose wallets. You wanna ask your boss how much we can get per head fleeced? Okay, go on in. But I don't wanna see any funny bits, all right? No one followed me, no one's watching you. Guaranteed. How can you be sure? If Zeta Tech suspected anything, you'd be long dead by now. My bet? You're not important enough to even be on their radar. You ever work for a corp? You trying to offend me? Let's just say I've met a few of your kind. Quick, talk a good game, always fighting for their people, for a small fee. And? Suits, most of them. <laughs>